Option Chief Market Strategist. Alan, if I could ask you the same question I just did, Steve. If the mm -hmm. Fed pauses on an interest rate hike next week, what would be the fallout from that? Well, there's about a 50-50 chance, but I'm looking past that. I'm a trader, and I'm looking at the futures markets. If you look out here in 2023, you can see short-term rates are declining down to 4% by the end of the year, and then we're at 3.5% at 2024, all the way out to 2030. So the markets are telling us that our destination is here, and we're essentially done. So what happens with a quarter point at you know next week or not, I don't think it's a big deal. Let's talk about the markets not doing. We're still at 3,900 in the S&P. We've been between 3,800 and 4,200 now for five months. So we're still range bound. Uh, you know, we're getting a pullback. This is not 2008. I can, cannot say that enough. This is incompetence. I'm not gonna say stupid because you shouldn't say stupid about people, but this is incompetence. This is the reason these markets exist is to hedge price risk. If they didn't hedge the risk, if they didn't think that interest rates were gonna go from zero to somewhere, they shouldn't be in banking. It's that simple. You know what is weird about it, Alan, and I remember, like I said, covering the financial crisis, and there were a lot yep, of weird, we were there. there were a lot of weird things going on, right? People were packaging crappy mortgage derivatives and selling right. it to unsuspecting investors. There were people buying, you know, homes and condos sight unseen, getting mortgages with very little yep. proof of income or their ability to pay. I, I don't see any of that going on here. Now, the worst sin going on here is from an institution that was behind the eight ball and, and the wrong, you know, selling point for a lot of treasury securities at home which are generally the most conservative investment if held to maturity. Exactly. And if they, anything, they were, they were off on the timing of that when they had to unload some of that. Right. But, but that, to me, does not speak of recklessness that we saw during the meltdown. Your thoughts? Yeah, I totally agree. They had their duration wrong. They, they didn't cover the, the front end. But this is also a velocity of money story. Things have changed, like you were talking with Mr. Forbes. Things have changed dramatically. You know, they took out $42 billion in an hour, and that was just a loss of confidence. That's all that was. Any other situation, they would have been able to, the money wouldn't have come out that fast, and you people wouldn't have been able to communicate as quickly to cause that. It was a loss of confidence more than anything else. Yeah, they... they they were stupid by not hedging in the short term. Uh, that cost about 25 basis points. So yeah. they didn't want to do that because that would hurt their profitability. So that was a choice they made. That was incorrect, stupid for them, stupid for investors. And I don't think it reflects on the market at all. You're seeing some of the big, big banks see these inflows of cash, uh, you know, because people are going to the big major fours. And uh, since when, like you said, since when are treasury bonds a toxic asset? They're, the toxic assets of 2008 were a whole different ballgame. You know, you just said something very important there. Everything you say is important, Alan. But, you know, what's interesting is uh, through no fault of their own, <laughs> regional banks and some of these medium banks, right. medium-sized banks, are seeing money leave them, not in, in, in some and in, uh, among all, but to the big banks. I believe $15 billion in depositors' right. money has gone its way to, to Bank of America over the last Bank week. America. And I'm, I'm wondering, uh, again, we talk about unintended uh, consequences uh, and, and these moral hazards. Uh, are a lot of these medium-sized banks going to suffer that? Again, through nothing they did but this fear that they're not safe institutions and people are going to seek the safety of big banks that are, have really deleveraged themselves from the meltdown period and, and, and been able to diversify their, their portfolios. Well, you've got to remember, banking used to be boring. That's the idea. Right. You take in deposits, you hedge your risk, you you know you get you get money in return all right so banks it's a simple simple business if you do it right but they're trying to get higher returns they're into markets they probably shouldn't be involved in so if they're a simple bank that's fine but let's remember a lot of these banks aren't just taking in deposits from your you know your Illinois farmers uh, Ace Hardware store they're doing all kinds of things and that puts them at exposure so if they get back to the business of banking then yeah, then yeah people will understand that appreciate that but they're playing a different game and they're not just being banks but I want to get back to where we are and and put it in perspective it's been one year to the day almost since the Fed started raising rates 
And, you know, the S&P is off about 10%, but it is 10% off the bottom. But let's also talk about the VIX here. The VIX is at 26 or 27. In 2008, the VIX was up near 100. So, yes, this right now is a very isolated event. Oil prices are down. Inflation is down. Unemployment is, is fantastic. Anybody that wants a job has a job or two or three if they want them. Uh, and banks still have record profits and great balance sheets. So I look at more of the positives. This is an isolated situation. People lost confidence and they had the ability to lose confidence because of the speed they can move their money. All right, I think you're right. There are important distinctions we should keep in mind here, and hopefully cooler heads will prevail. That is not happening right now. Alan Nuckman, thank you very much for in and out of session lows on the Dow, down about 670 points right now. Uh, so uh, we've taken everything we gained yesterday and doubled it effectively with still about uh, 400.